it's Travel Tuesday, and this week the guys at SavvySues.com are taking us on a tour of Switzerland. <gasps> okay. Let's take a look. We're on the fly in Switzerland, and we have landed in Lucerne. We're about to take you to the highest point in the city, Mount Pilatus. We searched for a hotel using Trivago.com and booked at the Palace, which is one of the leading hotels in the world. The property's spacious public areas, decor, and five-star staff add to the guest enjoyment in their impeccably appointed rooms. The Palace Lucerne also offers suites that are colorful and contemporary with attention to detail and features you'll appreciate. Groovy, baby, yeah! Once we settled into our rooms, we headed into the city. Lucerne is home to the Swiss Transport Museum, Europe's largest museum of mobility, exhibiting all forms of transportation, from planes to trains and boats, even crew uniforms. Right on time to head across town to the other side of Lucerne to check out the Chapel Bridge, a wooden bridge built in 1333 that spans the Reuss River. Everything runs on time in Switzerland, and so do we. So we hurried on over to Mount Pilatus for a gondola ride up to the top of one of the tallest peaks in Switzerland. It's just into the clouds. Who knew we'd have live in-flight entertainment for our ride? 45 minutes later, we finally arrived. We've reached the top of Mount Pilatus. We're here with Colette. Colette. Hi. Oh my gosh, we're up so high. How how high are we? Well, as high as that, tears in my eyes. <laughs> no, we are in 7,000 feet. In late medieval times, it was said that dragons lived inside the caves of Mount Pilatus, so we had to see for ourselves. So Colette, you tell me that we're in the dragon's den. Yep. What this is, is this is a very very special place. This is actually where they say there must be living dragons here. But Still. the story. Well, okay, I'm standing next to you. Right? <laughs> like the view, a mountaintop hotel awaits your arrival. For more information on what we did around the city of Lucerne and to learn how to travel like we do, visit SavvyStews.com.